everyone. In this video, we will share with you on using the research monitoring system Ramos as a supervisor. There are four components in this video. One, how to log in to Ramos. Two, how to approve a progress report. Three, how to view and provide feedback on a progress report. And four, how to approve or reject a proposal defense of Viva Voce. Let's start. Go to ramos-portal.oum.edu.my Enter your username and password. Then, select Supervisor. Click on the Login button. After that, click Supervisee to look at how to get a learner's information and click Details. Then, click View to view each learner's information. As a supervisor, you can communicate directly with the learner through the email and mobile number provided. Now, let's look at how to view and approve the progress reports. It's easy! On your left, click Progress Report. Click on the student name. Then, click View. Lastly, click on the Approve or Reject button. Please note that learners need to submit their progress reports at least once every semester. Let's move on on how to view and provide feedback on a progress report. On your left, click Progress Report. Click Student Name. Click View. Enter the necessary details in the Add Feedback column. Then, click on the Post Feedback button. As a supervisor, how do you send feedback or a message to a learner if the learner did not submit any progress report up until the end of semester? First, click Supervisee and click Details. Then, click Notify to leave a message to the learner. Then, click Send. Next, we will share how to approve or reject a proposal defense of Viva Voce. on the documents to get the supervisor's report templates for you to complete for the proposal or thesis of the learner. Download the file and fill up the supervisor's report accordingly. Next, click on the approval button. Select a learner. Remember to attach the completed supervisor's report. Then, click on the Approve or Reject button. Yes, finally, we have covered all of the processes in Ramos as a supervisor. Should you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact the person in charge of your program for assistance. We hope that this video has benefited you on how to use Ramos when supervising your learners. Thanks for watching.